My name is Miranda Chuck, a CPA. We're going to cover the definitions for a few of the major accounting concepts in this video. But first, let's summarize the accounting process. First, you need to identify an accounting transaction. Then, we need to be able to measure specific attributes of that transaction. Thirdly, of course, we need to record it in an accounting system. And finally, we need to periodically prepare financial statements. And one of the major guiding principles or concepts of how we would go about this uh, is called historical cost. Transactions are recorded at historical cost. Now, recently, the U.S. has, def has implemented requirements for fair value disclosures in addition to the historical cost recording of transactions. And even more recently, U.S. GAAP has implemented some new fair value pronouncements where accounting is actually done at fair value and certain balances are remeasured at every financial statement period and they are remeasured at fair value and no longer at historical cost. Another major concept underlying the accounting process is accrual accounting. Now in accrual accounting, uh, cash is not necessarily relied upon to trigger an accounting event. Instead, under accrual accounting, um, revenue is recognized when a significant event in the earnings process has been completed. And on the expense side, accrual accounting states that expenses are recognized when it's reasonable and probable that an obligation has occurred. Now working in tandem with this is another accounting concept, accounting principle, which is the matching concept. And what this says is that expenses that relate to the generation, particularly of revenues, is recognized in the same period as the revenues that are generated. Now there are many more concepts and underlying principles for accounting, but these are the major ones um, to start with, historical cost, accrual accounting, and the matching concept.